guys, uh, today I'm going to be showing off my custom built computer that I have here that I built um, a couple months ago. Uh, it was before the 1050 and 1050 Ti came out and it's kind of an entry level, um, entry to mid level PC. Uh, it's based on a Core i3 uh, processor, a 6100 with a Skylake line. It's got 8 gigs of DDR4 RAM. Um, I went ahead and I used, I don't have my CPU box anymore uh, for the i3, but I have the Corsair um, 500 watt power supply here. And I went with a uh, MSI, it's technically a gaming motherboard, um, but I, I wouldn't recommend this one. It, it looks nice, but in this build that won't really matter, you'll see it has a side panel. so. Uh, it was on sale too, so I went ahead and got this. Um, usually a $50 to $60 motherboard is going to do you just fine in a build like this. And then I also threw in one of these, which is the GTX 950. Um, again, this was before the 1050 and 1050 Ti came out, and the only reason I got this instead of a 750 Ti is because this was on sale for $100 at the time, brand new. Uh, I wouldn't recommend this card unless it is on sale because for $150 you should be getting a 1050 at this point, a 1050 Ti. So um, I'm going to go ahead and show some gameplay footage with a little FPS counter in the corner uh, so you can kind of see a good idea of what this computer will do and if you would like to build it yourself I will have links in the description for all the parts. So there you go, that's um, pretty much what I got for frames, and that was at 1080p. Um, again, uh, here are the presets, I've got a little graph that should show average frame per second for each game. Um, and The Witcher 3, I feel like I 
I don't really play The Witcher 3 very much, um, but I wanted to include it because I know it's very popular, and I don't really understand, or I, I didn't take a look, good look at the settings, so um, the you can probably get better frames than that uh, if you lower a few more things. I knew to turn the hair works off, but um, that one was a little bit a little bit laggy still for my taste. Uh, very playable, but I like as high a frames as possible. Um, obviously, Overwatch and CSGO are going to run really well on this. Um, and Overwatch does not, I don't think it can run higher than 60 frames per second. Um, just, I think that's their cap on it. Um, let's see, Skyrim, I didn't realize I had the mods enabled um, when I played it, and I was still getting good frames, so I went ahead and just left them on. And uh, I don't remember, don't ask me what mods they were because I have no clue. Um, I know that uh, Advanced, I think Extra Blood Splatter, I think I noticed that one was on. And um, Shadow of Mordor ran really well on this, uh, it was very smooth, very playable. Um, and GTA 5 was a little bit laggy. I had the MSAA turned up all the way to times eight. So uh, if you take that down to times four, that should take care of the, uh, there were some slight little tiny hiccups I noticed. Um, but overall, I really like the computer. Um, the total cost for the machine was, I believe, right around 530-ish dollars uh, at the time of purchase. And remember, I, I bought some of the things when they were on sale. The sales are no longer going on. So that price may change a little bit but um yeah i really enjoy it and uh i am going to be hopefully doing another computer build pretty soon here i'm uh planning on doing a rebuild of the first computer i ever made um which was horrible and so that's hopefully coming up and uh yeah so stay tuned if you like this video give it a like and subscribe so i'll see you next time